This is the train to the DMZ from Seoul, one of the most bizarre train journeys in the world. It goes up from the South Korean capital to the border with North Korea, and then it returns. This bridge is a new bridge. The old one was destroyed in the Korean War. It is a political journey. It is designed to make the point that the train goes and can go no further. So I've just arrived at Dorasan Station and you look around, it seems completely normal, like loads of stations. Actually though, look a bit closer and it's very, very abnormal. You get a hint of it with this sign. It's a propaganda station, really. Pyongyang, that way. Seoul, back that way. This is the most militarised part of the whole planet. As you come in here, you see mined areas warned off on either side of the tracks. Until 2008, freight trains would go down that track to North Korea. It's two kilometers to the actual border, just over a mile. This place was built as a real station. Look at it, magnificent waiting room and booking hall. The booking desk is still there, the turnstiles to Pyongyang, built though in a very different period under the sunshine policy, as it was called. The government at that time wanted communication between North and South Korea. And then what happened? North Korea let off a nuclear device in that first nuclear test. That was the end of the sunshine policy. But there is a new government now. President Moon, the new president, wants more communication. He hopes this station will again bustle like it never quite did.